All right, so in this video, we're going to uh, dig into uh, the organization called W3C. And W3C is an acronym for the World Wide Web Consortium. Uh, this video is going to be somewhat short, um, but nonetheless, I think it's important that we understand um, who sets the standards uh, for the World Wide Web um, and who is advancing uh, HTML. So let's jump to those slides here uh, that talks about the W3C. So the W3C is an international organization uh, that develops the open standards for the web. Uh, so W3 is not necessarily governed by any particular company, but rather um, it's a membership of companies that work together uh, to set the standards. Uh, the question is, who, well, then who then gives them the right or gives them the authority uh, to set the standards for the World Wide Web? That is a huge uh, task. Um, when you watch this video, they talk about three um, three entities that basically give them the authority to do this one it's their membership base it's basically a number of different companies um, across the world that get together and they uh, form these working groups uh, to agree upon or to vote upon or set standards for uh, HTML uh, two they have Tim Berners-Lee uh, the creator of or some people have coined as the the creator of the World Wide Web not the internet but the World Wide Web and then their last point of authority is <clears throat> their proven track record of success. And so I think the, it was 1994 that the W3C was formed. Um, and since then, they've been setting the standards. And that's where we get our versions of HTML from, uh, is from the W3C. In this class, we're going to validate our work uh, according to W3C standards. Uh, you're gonna, there's going to be a video here. Uh, the last video that I'll, that I'll have for this series here is a video on how to validate our work uh, before submission and if you go to w3 if you just google w3c validation uh, it's going to pull up with this uh, it's going to display this w3c markup validation service you click on that uh, and this is going to be a tool that we'll use i'm not going to go through it right now but this is a tool that we're going to use to basically validate our work to make sure that we're actually complying to the latest standards that w3c has set forth so, uh, and like I said, we'll, we'll practice using the markup validation service uh, tool here in the last video of this series. Um, but what I would like for you to do here is um, go back to this slide, uh, press pause on this video, and watch this video. Uh, it's very insightful and informative of who is this organization and uh, what, they, what do they seek to do. Also, if you have time here, what I would like for you to do is go to the W3C's website. If you go to w3.org, there's a lot of information about what they're currently working on, some of the latest standards. Uh, if you click on this, this tab here, uh, the membership, and then just some information about W3C. Um, you'll see that they're doing, they're pushing standards that is related to entertainment, TV and broadcasting, automotive, uh, publishing, web payments. So there's a lot of different things that uh, they're setting standards for. Uh, and I believe that the World Wide Web, uh, we haven't seen uh, what it's capable of yet. I think we're just starting to really be on the cusp of what is capable uh, that we can do through the World Wide Web. Um, and so there's some exciting things that uh, have been released and some things that will continue to um, be released by the W3C. So go ahead and watch this video uh, and take note of some of the things that they uh, mentioned uh, related to um, their work with the W3C. And, some of the, and also take note of some of the different companies that are members of the W3C.